Hey everybody, Mr. Berg here, and this is a quick tutorial on the basic functions of Sketch.io. Once you first type in Sketch.io, you're going to select your language. And now it'll just take a second to load up for us. Now, when Sketch.io finally opens, for me, you can see this previous project I'd made. It says Art Rules, because Art does rule. But this is here because this was the last project I worked on. We're going to start in the bottom left corner with these tools and work our way around the screen. First off, you've got some settings down here with the three cogs. If you click here, one thing I would encourage you to do is make sure that auto save is enabled. Mine is, good. The next uh, option, it's called export. It looks like a little disc. This is where you can end up downloading a finished image as a JPEG. So you can save it onto, com onto your computer, you can submit it as a JPEG or email it and do different things with your completed image. Above the export is open, and this is where you can open previous projects. So you'll see I've done a projects here, and you can double click on those to open them. You can also download other projects that you've already created. And then the plus side is where you can open a new canvas. I'm going to do that now while we're here. You can select all sorts of different um, size canvases. I'm just going to choose a default 800 by 600 and choose a blank. Here we go. Now we have a blank canvas. I'm going to work my way from the uh, top left over to the top right. So the select tool looks like an arrow. This is what you're going to need to have selected when you want to move things around that you've placed in your canvas. The crop and resize is to change the size of your canvas. I already chose my dimension, so I'm going to leave that alone. Now, the default pen here is the calligraphy pen, but if you click on it, you can move over to the right and choose between many different types of brushes. These are really fun to use. I'm going to do a demo with the paintbrush real quick. Now, with the paintbrush selected, the outline is like your brush size, okay, or the line of your brush. Line width changes the thickness of your line, as you can see here. And then blur changes how defined your line is. The more blur, the less defined your line is. And as you decrease the blur, you get a much tighter defined line. Okay. Now, another option in Paintbrush is the fill option. Right now, I have it set to zero. If I click on fill, let's say I want to make this. Um, or yellow. Let's say yellow. Okay, so now the fill is 100%. It's yellow and the outline is black. So watch what this is going to allow me to do. My outline is black and as I roll that line around and close it, it fills my shape with the color. Oftentimes if I want to just paint single lines, I just have the fill set to zero. Tons of different brushes to choose from. I don't play around with the set blend mode too much. You certainly could if you want to. Next down, we have the shapes tool. This is, it defaults to a star, but you can choose any type shapes that you want to uh, play around with. And uh, let's start with a circle. You can click and drag a circle. Once it's here, you can drag and move things around. And then this is a really nice feature here called styles. If you click this, you can change the color of the fill. You can change the outline and even make the outline thicker or thinner. There's also a cool tool called the cutout, which allows you to remove or cut out the center of your shape. Next is clip art. This can be really fun to use because there are literally thousands of different clip art images that you can click and drag into your canvas. Okay, here we go. I can drag and move them around. Uh, there's a little bit that you can do with the styles. You can grab a corner and shrink and resize things as you need to. Okay. The cool thing with clip art as well in this menu is there's a red button up here that says load your own image. This allows you to uh, select a picture that's already downloaded onto your computer and open it in Sketch.io if you want to do that. Opacity refers to how transparent your image is. You'll notice as you look at my zebra, he becomes more transparent and see-through as the opacity goes down. If it's 100% opaque, that means it's not transparent at all. Next, we have the text box tool. You can click somewhere to create a text box. Here we go. And you can select any sort of styles 
fonts, sizes in the menu here. Tons of options. Last, you've got the vector fill tool, which is basically a paint bucket tool. Okay? <clears throat> Moving over to the top right. I'm going to keep going here so I don't take up too much time. On the top right corner, you have these three stacks of paper, or three stacked papers. That's called layers, and this is a really good tool to use. Any time that you add something to your canvas, it creates a new layer. And the layers start on the canvas and generally build off of each other or on top of each other. So right now, you'll notice that my clip art layer is this zebra, and he is on top of all my other layers. But let's say I wanted to put the this kind of peach-colored circle in front of my zebra. I would go over to layers and find the circle that I created and then click and drag it above my clip art and now that layer is on top of or above the zebra layer, the clip art layer. The cool thing you can do with layers as well is if you don't want a bunch of stuff you can hold down shift, select something then hold down shift, move down, select a bunch of other things and delete them all at once. The magnifying glass allows you to zoom in. I prefer just to use a keyboard shortcut uh, of holding down control and pressing the plus sign, which is in the top right corner of your keyboard. You then hold down control and press the minus sign right next to the plus in order to zoom back out. Here we have a history. I don't use that too much. And then an undo. And a lot of times, if you're using like a brush and you make a mark that you don't want, you can undo it. Well, that's a quick overview of Sketch.io. Let's say you made something and you're like, wow, what a masterpiece. I want to send it to my grandma because she loves my artwork. Great. Down here in the bottom left, clicking on export, you can download it as a JPEG and it will save onto your computer's hard drive. As long as you're in settings, as long as your auto save is enabled, whatever I just created will be saved in Sketch.io for the next time you log in to Sketch.io or the next time you open up Sketch.io. The great thing about it is you don't even have to log in, you don't have to make an account, it just remembers your computer. All right, that was really fast. I hope that makes sense, and um, have a lot of fun. See you guys.